So I want to do some experiments with iron filings and I need some. So here's a quick way that I came up with uh, to make some. You could take a permanent magnet and run it through some dirt. And it turns out there's enough iron oxide particles in the dirt that oftentimes uh, you can find it. Uh, what I want to take is a nail. So this is an iron nail, iron based, some kind of carbon steel or something, I don't know, but it sticks. And if I can break this up into a enough small little grains, then that's going to be what I, I'm looking for. So I could just take a file and run it past, file this nail down, and I might see some dust there. It would take a while. Or, when in doubt, let's use a power drill. Okay, I think that's the answer to everything, isn't it? So I'll put this on high speed, and I'm going to just kind of run it against the file, and hopefully this will work. Uh, what I'm going to do is put the magnet underneath, and the idea is hopefully that'll kind of connect or collect some of this iron filings as it falls without making a mess. Let's see. So I can see that there's some iron filing dust that's collecting around the magnet there, so it's working. Whoops. Got loose. Got to reconnect this. Okay. If you've ever uh, done any kind of machining of metal, even just drilling metal, a lot of times the dust that comes out of that is uh, this magnetic. So I've got it on the paper. I, I don't like it when my magnets get all dirty with this stuff, so I'm trying to keep them separate by a piece of paper. Well, already I'm kind of seeing something interesting here. So that magnet looks like this. So it has... Uh, again, a, a dot on one side that represents the North Pole and the South Pole is on the bottom. I would have thought that that would be kind of a uniform field coming out of it, but the iron filings are uh, attracted to the highest regions of field or the, the regions where have the highest, strongest magnetic field, which appears to be kind of at the edges of that magnet. Now, another thing you can do is drag your magnet around and you see kind of some interesting behavior here. I'm seeing some non-magnetic particles there. It stands up on its own. So what this is, is each individual iron filing is like a little, uh, kind of a little, little needle, kind of like this. So it looks like a, a long, thin piece. And it turns out that the magnetic field has, uh, it likes to line up. Uh, inside or on the long axis. They call it shape anisotropy, meaning that each needle is going to have a north pole on one end and a south pole on the other. It's not going to point sideways. Now, some other interesting things. We could put other magnets down below here. So here I've got this magnet and it seems to be kind of hollow in the center. So I'll try to gently remove this. Okay. Now I've got a fridge magnet and we could try to visualize what that fridge magnet looks like as well. So these fridge magnets are kind of these flexible kind. I showed in another video that uh, there's actual stripe domain patterns imprinted on this magnet. There's printers that you can buy actually that can print a magnetic pattern onto these things. It's kind of neat. Okay, so I'll try to loosen this up a little bit so you can visualize what the magnetic field around these things looks like. Oh, you can see here. And distribute this a little bit. Okay, each of those little grains. Ah, look at that. Okay, so we can see those striped domain patterns quite nicely. All right, that's cool. Who'd have thunk that a fridge magnet could look so interesting?
So I see those stripes going back and forth. I'm gonna see if I can get this even more diffuse. They're kind of clumping together. Let's see here. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, so each of those striped domains on these fridge magnets, uh, it turns out to be a particular arrangement uh, that kind of maximizes the field on one side of the fridge magnet uh, at the cost of the other side. So it turns out that this, you can try it at home, uh, most of these fridge magnets, they'll stick on one side, but if you turn them around, they won't stick on the other. So... You would think that if this was a north pole, then this would be a south pole. It's actually arranged, each of these domains is kind of these flipping uh, domains that kind of maximize the total field on one side. So imagine the, the field kind of diving in and out of this material, kind of like a dolphin might through the ocean. And uh, on the other side, it minimizes the field. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. Let's look at what else we could do. Let's look at what these look like under a microscope.